So I haven't been able to come out to this lake in a while, simply because there's construction, they have the path and the whole area blocked off. Uh, and I was about to turn back and head home, and this guy, uh, he comes over and shows me a path. It was kind of weird, I had to follow him underneath the bridge. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he shows me a path underneath the bridge and around all the construction, and here we are on the other side now. Nobody in sight, the path is done, like dead. There's nobody walking on it. This has been blocked off for like a month. So the wildlife opportunity should be pretty good. I just saw Mink run across this tree while I was texting Sarah. Shortly after that, he comes running across that, uh, those wooden planks there and dives into the water for a fish. goes this way. If I plan to film everything and video an entire hike, I see absolutely nothing and I get bummed out and it's a boring video. I wasn't quite fast enough there to catch a photo of a heron flying by, so sorry I saved it for Nola Bar. I'm gonna go see if I can find him quick, come back to this side after, pack my bags, and uh, probably head up to the pond next. Alright, backpack, bicycle, Please don't get stolen. And the, uh, the mink is here consistently working on a nest right now. So there's been lots of photo opportunities to try and correct my errors. Also saw a blue heron fly, great blue heron fly over the bridge. Missed a couple photos. I did manage to get them in frame, but not fully. And then now, just now, we got the green heron. And there's just all kinds of stuff happening. So it's been like a really good day for, for photography. Uh, it is a little bright. I am fighting the sun, but I'm making it work. And I'm just excited to actually be seeing wildlife because for the last month, anytime I've gone out, I've gotten like no photos. So this is awesome. to head home. I'm just working on the video right now and I'm missing chunks of it. I didn't record the rest of that day. I ended up going out to my best friend's place and on the way there uh, we pulled over on the side of the road and I got some awesome photos of this indigo bunting. I'd never seen one before. It was really awesome to see. I was at my friend's house for a while and uh, towards the end of the night there, I started to see the stars up in the sky. So I got the idea that maybe I could see the Milky Way even though we were fairly close to the city where I thought there would still probably be a lot of light pollution. Anyways, we tried some photos and I was showing them how long exposures work and we were goofing around, uh, reenacting Harry Potter battles and stuff. So the, the Milky Way core there was actually visible enough for me to practice uh, and attempt some astrophotography on the new camera here on the Sony a7 IV. So that was a first time, first attempt and I'm actually pretty pleased with the outcome. I shot those photos with the Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter and if I zoom in on the photo it's actually pretty good. It's not too bad. There's a minimal star trailing um, which would happen from having the shutter open too long. Uh, typically a wider lens allows you to have that shutter open longer. So I was pretty pleased with how these photos turned out. I thought they were pretty awesome. Um, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to do a little voiceover pop in on the camera in my office space and just kind of add to the content of this part of the video because I didn't record any of it. If you guys want to see an astrophotography video from me, let me know. I'd, uh, I think that'd be a really fun idea. I just need a good night to go out and, uh, and attempt it. So we're back at the mink spot. I thought I'd try and get capture some video of them today and some more photos. 
So I don't know if I'm all in frame, but it's freaking chilly out here, so I'm putting on a sweater. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, trying to get set up, have my camera set up so I can film this video properly. But so much is happening already. I've got a new bird to look up and try to figure out what it is. And I think I saw a kingfisher over there. I recognize the movement of uh, the bird just kind of hovering and looking straight down and then going for the dive. But it looked really large, so I don't know. Maybe it was a really big kingfisher. I didn't think they were too large of a, uh, a bird. But anyways, let's get into just uh, taking some wildlife photos. All right, so straight ahead here, I got a bunch of little birds that keep flying up and down the stream. So we'll set up for a photo there. Some clouds rolling in, but it seems all right. And I haven't seen our mink friend over there yet. Well, because of the approaching storm, I'm just gonna call it quits today. Go home and edit some videos because I've been slacking pretty badly with a lack of inspiration on some of the uh, content I've created so far. Just got off the bike. There's a green heron. We'll see if I can get him on video. 